Welcome back, everybody. We are pulling out of vet vestiges here, or golden meadows. I guess it's like a shared lot. Anyways, there is a place about 40 miles down the road that we're picking up at. Now, I have no idea what this place is going to look like. I tried to check it out on the map, and it was a little strange. So we're going to have to see just exactly where we're headed here, but it's going to be a little bit down the road. We're also going to need to get fueled up here in Maryville, Kansas as well, if they happen to have a place for fuel somewhere. I see there's a station there, but they've only got gasoline for cars. We got to find a place that's got diesel for trucks. Hmm. And of course, today we are in our favorite Western Star. But we are going to switch out today. I know I've been intending to do that. We're actually going to get it done. So I want to swing by our garage after this load. And we are going to swap over to one of our new trucks. Oh my goodness. Look at all them lines of rail, rail cars just all up in there. That must be a rail yard back there. There's no other explanation for why <laughs> there'd be so many uh, tracks filled. That makes sense. think where we're headed has something to do with the rail company, but we'll find out here. Should be down this road just a little bit farther, about 30 more miles. Some beautiful country out here through Kansas. I did not expect to say that, I will be honest. It's a fun drive heading westbound on 36. This uh, turn up here is going to be a 55 though. For We're going to... Ooh! Look at these fields! <laughs> I would like to uh, submit evidence number one as to uh, why I grew up in the Midwest. That that poor sucker drove his bison combine on in the ditch. I I've, I know something about that, buddy. I've been there. I've done that. Yeah, you can tell I grew up out here in the uh, the land of the fields of corn and soybeans. I mean, I see a field that looks kind of nice and planted neat, and I go, ooh. <laughs> oh wait, hey, do they got fuel. Oh, that place is closed. Man, that's a shame. Should buy that and open it up. Anybody else? A little side project? We can play a little, uh, what's that, gas station sim? <laughs> All right. Coming up into a 55 zone, but we got some construction slowing down here. Actually, they're going to have a light up here for the construction. I don't know what... Oh, actually, this is where we're picking up. Okay. We're picking up at a construction site. Let me put on my four ways. That way everyone knows that... Oh, can I go through the red? I mean, I'm kind of supposed to be here. Fellas, I don't, I don't want to get a fine, but I'm supposed to be here. Are you going to make me... You're going to make me wait. Can I at least get my paperwork? Can you walk this way? Wow. All right. There's fine. I'll come to you. <laughs> okay, so I got to pull over to the side here, make enough room for traffic to get by me, and I got to talk to the gentleman sweeping out this canister, or this container. Come on, boys. Get on by me. Get on by me. There you go. There you go. I'm going to pull my parking brake here. Once these people all sneak by, we're hopping out, and we're getting our paperwork. All right, so traffic is not coming from that direction, and we do not seem to have any tra uh, traffic coming from in front of us. And so it's actually they're, they're set to be coming from in front of us because of uh, the way the lights are set up here. So I know that as long as I watch there, we're good a little bit. I got some time before they have to go behind me. And so if we can take the opportunity to spin ourselves right on around here, then we're going to try and... Oh, can we actually get this? I was just trying to get myself over here. I didn't mean to accidentally line up for the trailer here, but uh, when in Rome, fellas. <laughs> All right. We better pull forward, though. I want to hook, hook this thing up straight. No need to come at an angle. Right next to their Porta Johns. Oh, man. Sure is stanky over here. Somebody get the Febreze. These con these construction boys, I could, they've been going to Taco Bell for their lunches. Uh-uh. I ain't loading up next to this. No, sir. Not catching me outside quick. I'm going to do this as fast as we can. <laughs> all right. Everything's getting hooked up. Landing gear is up. And lights are all working. We got a big load of big tires. For some reason, they needed them out here. Don't ask questions. Neither do I. It looks like something maybe... You know what? I'm not going to make up excuses for what has occurred here. I'm just going to tell you that we got the load and we're going to hit the road. That's all we need to know. Money in our pocket. So, anybody coming? Are y'all going to go? Okay, they're going to go. I should have enough room, but just to be safe, I want to let traffic get through here. Okay, I think Buddy's going to have to stop. Now, they're still going, so I've got a little window here. We're good. We're going to pull right on out. This guy's going to think, what you doing? Don't hit me. Watch out. You're fine. Just had to make sure I got around a cone, friend. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. We're down this road 65 mile an hour. That parachuter's been falling out of that sky for the entire time it took us to get loaded. 
Is there like an updraft, buddy? Have you been stuck? Do we need to call somebody? He's over here. He's like, I sure wish I wasn't in Kansas anymore, Toto. Float me over somewhere else. Maybe the maybe the wind would let me down. <laughs> I'll tell you what's unfortunate is that he, stranded as he is, we're going to be in a stranded situation if we don't get fuel. Now, we have a uh, quarter of a tank here. So we're fine for a little while. We're not really hurting too bad. We're going to be able to get this job done, I would say, or darn near. But we're definitely going to want to fuel up at some point along this route. So let's see. Maryville had nothing. We're going to have to wait until we're on the other side of Maryville. Hmm. Where is that combine? That is Lilia Bison. Just saying. The Scarecrow, too? Wild. Oh, that turn was a 55, and we took it at 56. Somebody sue me. Just kidding. Don't do that. Coming up on town, so we got to get slowed down. We're going to use our engine brake to do so. I'm sure the town don't appreciate it, but hey, you don't want me blowing through here at 70 miles an hour or something, do you? In fact, we're already struggling to get down. 45? I'm going to be a little fast. Sorry, fellas. We're working on it. Coming over the bridge. Ooh, there's a train. So this is the, uh, the yard that we were looking at. Look at that train going through passing by all of them. Okay, we gotta pay attention to what we're doing. We're down to 30 here in town. It's like a lot of people are out enjoying the park. Dude, with a selfie stick? No shot. Is, what is it? 2013 called, friend. <laughs> my, my. I don't know if I'm having flashbacks or what, but we don't need to talk about it. Selfie stick, though? For real? I think I need to take a drink after that one, son. I'm talking about a carbonated beverage, officer. Nothing else. Don't you worry about it. It's a Coca-Cola. Relax. Bro, these prime rib roadhouses, they tease me every town we go to. One of these days, I'm going to find one with a parking lot big enough, and we're going to go. I promise. It's my quest. Forget. Rename the series. No longer trying to earn a million dollars in American Truck Simulator. Trying to stop at prime rib uh, in American Truck Simulator. Good lord. We had to hit the brakes so hard for that red light. I might as well just run it. I think everybody would have been in grants. Except for that cop sitting up in that parking lot right there that would have witnessed the whole thing. That would have been unfortunate. <laughs> I do got an, uh, a question for y'all here, though, in Maryville. Why ain't y'all got no fuel? Y'all got a gas station for your cars, but I can't stop in there? That's kind of rude. Dang! I thought he ran that for a second. I was like, oh, two cops. Y'all busy out here. I don't need to be staying in this town no longer. This is, this is place to get a ticket central right here. Mm -mm. Send me back out on the open roads where, ain't there, where there ain't nobody else. Oh, they got hot dogs over there? Oh, wait, hold on a minute. Send me back, coach. I gotta go get some hot dogs. Oh, Ray's hamburgers. What? You know what? Something, something telling me that I'm just hungry. <laughs> Why is it when I start trucking, the only thing I can start pointing out on the side of the road is food? Fun fact, this farm right here to the right is where we just dropped off at, and uh, we're now passing it up. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, do you guys see what is going on down? Okay, hold on. Maybe I could have turned there, but it's telling me to go down here. Fellas, I missed a turn or something, because it's telling me to turn around. What did I do? I was too busy looking at food, probably. Okay. Look, more combines. We upgraded. We got a John Deere this time. Heck yeah, boys. I love being out here in farm country. It, it makes me feel like I'm at home. Just fair warning to everybody, whenever we do get to, like, Iowa, you know, and Missouri, Nebraska, Minnesota, whatnot, those kind of neighboring states, too, we gonna be there a while. <laughs> I've waited the majority of, or, like, a good portion of my life, not the majority, but a good portion of my life for that. So, yeah, it's gonna happen. Happen. So we gotta pull into this gravel ver ooh, ooh. Ooh. Bad time for that coke to get a kickback, son. This ain't a sponsor. Get out of here. Where are we going? Why am I why, why, why don't I turn around? Hold on. Boys. Boys, there ain't nobody else out here on this road except for the people trying to build that wind turbine. I'm stopping right here. Cause we gotta look why did what no 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 Oh my god, you fellas. Okay, look at this. We were here, okay? We were right here. Mm-hmm. They said, okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Just head down this way. I'm like, oh, yeah. But for some reason, they thought I couldn't do my turn here and head this direction. Okay, we needed to be going this way. This entire time, they've been sending us this entire way that we've already driven to turn ourselves around to head back to where we've, we've driven this road twice. This is about to be thrice, boys. We're about to drive it thrice. And then there's a scale? Oh, we're having a trip. Oh my gosh, we're having a trip. What's my, we're gonna use the entire day on this run. <sighs> 
Well, I'll tell you this. It's noon and that prime rib is looking more and more likely. <laughs> when do they need this? Hold on. Wait a minute. Wednesday? Do I need it today? Y'all need it today? How badly? All right. Fine. But I'm not looking forward to it. I know trains go through here. I'm going to be careful real quick. Hold on. I'm going to toot my horn. Yeah. How you like that train? Roll reversal. You wait for me, son. Yeah. Okay, I got confident because there was no train. If there was a train, my story would have changed real quick. All right, well, we're about to turn left onto this brand new road. We definitely haven't driven twice in this episode. We're not turning left and going through this exact same section. I want to know how many miles we are billing the people who paid us to haul this. Because <laughs> we've driven this three times and we've literally gotten nowhere. <laughs> Hey, look, it's that farm that we left originally. That's crazy. We're passing it for a second time. I gotta go through Maryville again? No, not all the reds. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna know Maryville so well. There's a couple cops sitting up here. Anybody needs to know. That's why I'm going slow, Mr. Truck behind me. I, I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. There's a couple cops up here in Maryville. <laughs> oh, you can't get past me, son. Mm -mm. I've been here a couple times already today. <laughs> okay, y'all need to give me about five minutes for me to collect my sanity. I'll be back with you. Oh gosh. Not this again. Is that guy mining? Is he mining right now? What would it take to get in that left lane right now? I, I have questions for that gentleman. One of them is if he wants to get in that passenger seat. Gonna be honest with you. The way this day is gone, I might as well. You ever heard about the story of Kai the Hitchhiker? Another cop! Why y'all got so many in this city? What y'all be doing out here? <laughs> They're having me pass the prime rib place again. It looks so good. Oh, this sucks. Oh, I've stopped at this road, so I hate everything. I hate it all. Okay. How much was this job paying me? <laughs> oh, we got a green light. Fantastic. Oh, I'm so excited to make progress on this road I haven't seen yet. Oh, wow. Look at the rail yard. I haven't seen this before. <laughs> oh, man. You know, it, it, the reason that I'm going hysterical is because this whole time we need to get fuel. <laughs> and there's no fuel on this entire road and we've driven it three times. Some days in trucking, boy, some days in trucking just make me want to tell you to like and subscribe. I'll tell you that much. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, wow, that's a pretty field right there. Boy, oh, man. Hey, that guy had a bad time. His, his bison combine is in the ditch. Don't worry, buddy. I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> it's Groundhog Day, people. Oh, the only thing changing is our fuel level and my sanity. <laughs> Both are depleting rapidly. <laughs> oh, he's still stuck. The dead parachuting is still stuck. I can't. I can't. I can't. I gotta get, I gotta get out of this area. <laughs> If I stop at this stupid red light up here, if I stop, now we have, we've just paid a huge loan. That's good. Okay. If I stop at this stupid construction light up here where we picked up the load, I'm going to be so mad. Don't tell me. I'm going to have, oh, we are going to have to stop. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be turning green. Be, yes. No. Be green. Excuse me, Mr. Red. My job is to be red and angry right now. Your job is to be green and tell me to go. All right, so. Hey, does this, does this look familiar, guys? This is where we picked up the trailer. Uh, you suppose these guys work in here that sent me on my way, watched me pull out and be like, that's the wrong way, idiot. And now they've just been waiting for me to pass back through and be like, there he is, man of the hour. They're all clapping. They're all like, that's my boy, certified stern wheel holder, just following his GPS, son. All right, all right. Get off my back. Y'all, they got another cop sitting up here. Oh, my, my, my. Well, I got great news, everybody. We're finally on our way to the direction we need to be going, but we still need to find fuel. And I don't know that we're looking any better in that department. We're actually probably looking a lot worse. But regardless, we're finally getting off of 36 and getting onto a different road. And that means I can never be happier. Don't ask me where I got it, but I snagged a slice of pizza as well. I always got a pizza pouch in my day cab. It's a little trick of the trade. Comes with the company policy, you know what I mean? It's one of our, our uh, benefits packages. <laughs> yeah, you get day cab, truck, pizza, and all trucks. Company provided. That's how much we care. 
daily pizza party out here, son. We have one car I gotta wait on, and there's gonna be one car that direction. That's how it always goes. I'm not gonna get to go. Oh my goodness, it's never that easy. Oh, now there's another one. Okay. Another one by dust. Way station's open, and I gotta be in that right lane, sir, so you're gonna need to speed up or slow down, and I don't care which happens. Oh, you're turning right. Okay. Well, better powder, I'm gonna get over here. <laughs> it's the saying, right? What's it gonna be, wait state? Oh, we got the bypass again? Hey, they liking us out here in Kansas. Kansas has been good to me. I'm glad to call him the home state of our trucking company headquarters. It's at this time that he looked down to his right and reached for the steaming hot pizza. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm. Sorry, I'm eating pizza. Very important things are happening. I blur the lines between bravery and stupidity, I'll tell you that. I just tried to eat pizza going right past a wait station where the DOT and police are sitting right and so i'm trying to eat this pizza and then meanwhile i'm swerving all over the place darn near hitting the car trying to pass me on the left hand lane yeah i'm sure i'm sure the dot sitting in his car was like hmm should i have a talk with that man <laughs> i tell you what we need to have a talk about how i need fuel this is getting to be a scary a scary situation and i'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do about it we would have been fine until we driven down the same road three times. That's kind of the Beetlejuice of trucking, at least when you're trying to maintain a little bit of fuel when you ain't got much to begin with. But we're gonna see what we can do here. We've got two hours until we're at our destination, and they do need it here by about 7 p.m. So we're gonna be there about 4.30, not too long really before they need it there. So things are cranking along. We're running out of time on our clock. We're running out of fuel on our truck, and uh, we're running out of time on this load. Uh, really I don't think there could be a single thing else going wrong here. Well, oh, you know what? Knock on wood, everybody. All right, we're going to be hanging right here. Getting on West 95B on the 70. We're going to die. It's been nice knowing you. Taking the dirt a little bit. Everybody calm down. Everybody slow down. Everybody chill. We're fine. We're just being uh, fuel efficient. That's all. That's all. Yeah. Speaking of fuel. Uh, oh, there's going to be a gas station if we can make it. There might be a little... Wait, you don't try and jump the gun. No, no. My turn. Then your turn. You went around me, you getting that left, son. That's right. It's a state law. We gotta be getting the gas station. Yep, the gas station's coming up in a little bit. Oh, is it? I sure hope that's an exit, otherwise it's on the wrong side of the road. I think it might be an exit. I think it might be an exit. Is it this one? Yes. Okay. It is. It is. We're good. Whew. This is fantastic news because our fuel light is on. We are almost out of fuel. Our truck has been warning us for many miles. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I have an ability to see that information on here, but it's not good. I'll tell you that. We need to sneak over there sooner than later. I could run out of fuel right here. I've done it before where I ran out of fuel right before the fuel station. Uh-huh. You better... Oh my gosh, a tractor under the tree. What the heck you doing there, son? I get distracted. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna sneak under the bridge here. Where are we fueling up at? Sir, please wait your turn. Please wait your turn. All right, thank you. Got a gallon of oil out here in the middle of nowhere. Sure hope they're gonna let me fuel. It looks like they might have... Yeah, they got truck pumps there. Do I need to pull in there and pull around the other way, or do I... Can I... I'm gonna go this way, I guess? I don't see that there's an official in and out here or anything, sir. So we're gonna just pull right up to these back pumps at this little country store. Maybe run inside, grab ourselves a candy. And we'll see what this bill's about to be. Probably more than I want to pay. Well, there you have it. Or $510 on fuel here today. Knocking over my stuff in my truck. Whoopsie diddly. All right, let's get this thing fired up. Now that it's got all its fuel in it, I'm feeling a little less worrisome. I've still got three hours to drive, and I'm not exactly sure how long until we're there. It's not too long, maybe an hour. So we have plenty of time. We need to get ourselves pulled out of here. So I'm gonna try and sneak around this building to the right. I don't think a lot out here you could sleep at if you got tired. We don't have the time to sleep, but if it's uh, the closest rest place, we'll keep it in mind. Because I don't mind this. I don't mind this little country stop off the beaten path. That's my speed. We got some hay bales or something we kind of sitting down there. We've got 65 miles, hour 13 left here. And we've got about $18,000 in the bank. So we need to make this money so we have a little bit more to make it through the rest of this day. And we'll see where we're sitting tomorrow after we get our report from our drivers. We'll swap over to another truck and see how it runs. Ooh, that's another neat little rest stop over there. 
over there. Look at that one. They got a little ooh, 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 rumble strip. Sorry, I was looking at your rest stop, boys. <laughs> we got a Mr. Truck up here. They got a dog park or something out there, too? That is neat. What the heck? More rumble strip. We're stuck behind this truck going slow. Now, okay, there goes the red car. I was going to say, Mr. Car, if you don't hurry, I'm going to go around you, too. Super Woo. Mr. Super Woo's going... Oh, plane. All right. Got milk. This 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 clip brought to you by ADHD. <laughs> Sir, I need to get around you. You a little bit slow and I'm a little bit fast. It's uh, no disrespect, just kind of the nature of things. All right, all right. I'm sure all the traffic behind me is like, dang it, it's 75 out here. We're stuck behind this truck going 68, getting around this other guy. Don't worry, fellas. I just got to make sure he's got enough room and then you're going to be like, hey, everything's all right. You know what I mean? Unless you're going to Kingsley, in which case you, you're not quite to your place yet. Sorry. But for me, I got about 11 miles, which means I'm going to be turning right here, Hayes. And we need that engine brake back. I need it back. I really need it. Oh, man. I'm scared. Never mind. We're fine. There's going to be a roundabout here. I want to take the one that's wider. Probably? Question mark? Oh, maybe not. Oh, oh, oh. okay. Uh-huh. Let's look at that. So if you're going straight or you're going south. Okay. So I'm going south. So I think I'm doing the right thing. So I want to pull out here. It's clear. No one's on our inside. So I'm going to make our turn. Oh, hello, curb. Mwah. Just going to kiss the curb. Casual time. Don't mind that. Nobody come. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 I'm bigger than you. Good thing he had brakes, because that would have been fun. Excuse me, fellas. I don't like being on the inside. Can we switch, please? I'm bigger than you. <laughs> so, for those of you who are watching this in trucking school right now, if you are watching this and thinking, hmm, that's what I would do, you might want to rethink your profession, okay? But if you're watching this and thinking, this dad's an idiot, all right, you're, you're probably going to be all right. Good job. <laughs> your instructors are doing the right thing. <laughs> I got to go through another one. <laughs> you have no idea how tempted I am to go straight just for the meme. Oh, oh I'm not going to do it because there's a vehicle there, but I wanted to so bad, man. <laughs> oh. Maybe next time, Hayes. Maybe next time. How many more of these daggum things you gonna stick me through? I'm about to pull into prime rib. I really am. I know I always talk about it, but you're about to make me just do it. I, I'll be honest, okay? This is getting ridiculous. I'm getting tired of these roads, buddy. All right? I don't know what y'all be doing out here, but you, you were drunk to... You, oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you're a jerk to people who are driving drunk, which as a joke, obviously. But then I was, it accidentally kind of came out that you're a drunk to people who are driving. So um, it kind of makes me feel like I maybe need to check my own judgment. I haven't had a drink, but it sure sounds like I have. Okay, our destination's going to be up here at the, not the pizza place. What do you need tires for? Oh, no, not here. Okay, next one. Got it. This is where we're going to be pulling into. Where are we going with this load? Oh, my Lord. All right, Hayes, please don't be the place that gets my kidney stolen or something because where y'all got me pulling into looks like it's like a business behind a business it looks like it's just trying to hide back here oh it's a civil works facility well makes sense i guess they're probably sticking that wherever they can huh hey fellas did y'all order some really big tires from a construction site that was very inconvenient to get out of all right fantastic anyways here are the tires and here's the accompanying fuel bill because you all made me drive a stupid way yeah, that's not their fault. That's really my fault. But anyways, here's your trailer. All right, $6,400 is what we've got. Now we need to go find ourselves a place to sleep, and I'll see y'all in the morning with a new truck.